All right, guys, so we made it to video two. Now, we're gonna pull these apart. It's weird, because I just filmed all those intros together. I don't know which one, is it one video, is it two videos? Who knows, you guys do. But, today, we are gonna pull them apart. That, scat that shadow scared the life out of me. I really thought someone was in here in an empty room I'm in. I had to move like a 100 pound piece by myself, put everything together, but I got a bunch of carabiners for you. Let me, let me put them all on the table and I will show you what each one is. Let's head over there and then we'll come back over here. I'm gonna actually do a load test with this. I'm gonna do a load test with the rope we have because I wanted to put, let me show you guys here. All right, so this is the Instron. You can just screw this and it tightens and loosens teeth. Hopefully the rope, I did not think about that. If the rope won't fit in here, Oh, that might be an issue. But yeah, this is the Instron, a very, very expensive and precise machine. All right, let's head over to the table. All right, guys, and if you notice, the Anton, oh, it's a little, a little crooked, but that's actually the one that got shot with a cannon, so it still lives. We got, I tried to do two of each style, so there's two of these, two of the double. I could only get these two to work. The, these are the screw type, so it actually works. It's hard to do with one hand. You can see. So we'll see. If these do amazing, I will try and print more. I don't think they're going to do that well. Moving on, we got the springy snap. These are just simple carabiners. You know, they open, close. But yeah. And then, last but not least, so I tried to do two. Two of these style. Two, two of these style. I tried a bunch of these. None worked. So. But, alright guys. Let's do a little test. First up, you got this one. I will make sure all of them are closed so it's not just like because some of them stick open a little more than the others. I think this one was fine. Same design, so I'll have to do it that way. But yeah, guys, let's test them. Let's zoom in because I'm going to go over there and I will show you guys the load afterwards. I just want to show you guys that they are. It is free floating to begin with. I think that's about as good as that's going to get. You see? It's in here. Oh. Don't look at that. All right, guys. Let's start the first test. All right guys, it's over 80 pounds of force. Hey guys, so you can see that that one held 91 pounds, but it's actually about eight pounds more because I didn't zero it. It's so like right here where it's, oh, maybe it just does that. Let's see. Yeah, okay, so the zero is just for the inches, so that's fine. So I guess they all have this. That's how much, that's how much the head weighs. That that piece weighs nine pounds. It's very heavy. And that's an even bigger piece right there. It's like, the, that piece is huge. That's sitting on a desk table. Like, look how big it is compared to the backpack. That thing weighed a couple hundred pounds. And I had to move it, because I'm the only person here. So, 91 pounds is the number to beat. We'll bring it back down, and we'll put another one in. See you guys in a minute. All right guys, this is the same clip. Here. This one printed a little nicer. This one is in a matte PLA. The other one was just a PLA. Let me zoom in. Let's see how strong this one is. But yeah, so I don't know if that eight pounds makes a difference, but I guess they all have it. So if it does make a difference, at least they all have it. But all right, guys, let's pull this one apart. You think this one's going to break 100 pounds? Oh, that's not good. Well, this one's going to fail a little earlier. All right guys, next up, we have this carabiner. I forget the name of it, I'll put it below. But this one, the guy said it held 30 or 40 pounds and he thinks on it would hold up to, I think it was like 90 pounds. So I had to take this challenge, we printed it. They work pretty well. Honestly, they're probably one of the best 3D printed carabiners. Simplest one too. So very easy, went together quite well, honestly. I have no complaints. But yeah, let's get it in here and let's pull apart. I know there's gonna be some people that wanted to see it straight up and down, but all right guys, this is gonna be one long video, but let's pull it apart. 40 pounds, 50, climbing quick, we're already at 60, 70 pounds, so this one might take the cake guys, we'll see. 80, oh it's in first place right now guys, simple, simple carabiner. Wow. 
and it's already open. Oh, well, that's cool. Guys, these results are mind blowing. The simplest carabiner, which right now is in the first place, let me show you guys how much weight it actually held. Max load, 146.8 pounds. Look at that, that beats the other two. Just, you know, there you go, right there. The past two, these were all the other tests, which is crazy that the rope held 408 pounds, but 91 pounds, 51 pounds, 146 pounds. Let's put the second one in, and let's see if this one can do better than 146. But I'm gonna average all of them, so there's two of each, but the other one opened, but this one also opened, So, but it opened later on. The force and the way it is angled, it, when it pulls down, it actually forces this open. So if someone made a little lip on the end of it to keep it shut, they would actually hold I think 300 pounds. Maybe I'll make one. Let me know, guys. Let me know if you guys want to see more on this. I know this is already a very long video, but let's get this one over there and do some testing. See you over there. All right, guys. We got the second one in. Let's see. But I'm gonna average everything out. Hopefully, this one won't open. See you in a minute. Right, 20 pounds. 30. 40. 50? Oh, if they're already averaging better than the other ones. 70 pounds. 80 pounds. 90. 100. 120. Or 150. Same thing, it opened right up at about 170. Guys, 171.8 pounds. That's just ridiculous. Can you imagine a 3D printed carabiner? Carabiner you can print yourself. You're looking at it, you're probably like, why would I print a 3D printed carabiner? It's gonna break. It's pretty strong, it might come up. And that was when it was undone, there's just a whole lot. So, I don't know, maybe we have to test a real carabiner. Would you guys wanna see a real carabiner? Cause now I wanna know if a plastic carabiner can hold this much weight, what can a real one hold? I don't know, let me know. But moving on, let's get to the next piece. All right, these next two are going to be a real pain in the butt. They are just very, and I don't know how much they'll actually hold, but they're just, with like a quarter turn, they'll come undone. So not super, super high hopes, but if they had more threads, this should be the strongest, but we'll see, and they're the thickest by far. Biggest all around, let's see what they'll do. You know what, I'm gonna pause it. This video's been long enough. All of the work that goes into it. What do you guys think it held? Well, not great on the first one. So, as you can see how it compares. So honestly, the first test, this one is lower than the highest simple carabiner. So, so far the easiest one to assemble, the fastest one, the least material, just outperformed. Literally just outperformed this one. So unless the second one can do better, these screw type ones are in trouble and they are a terrible to print. Honestly, they're just the absolute worst. So we'll see how the S hooks compare because I'll be curious if having two of those latches will make it weaker. I don't know, who knows? Stay tuned, let's move on to the second screw one and hope it goes better. And actually what happened guys, exactly what I said. It just pulled itself out of here because the threads aren't um, fine enough. So it's just so coarse that it just wants to spin out. So like the other one I can show you right right here, when you screw this one up, and this is why I don't think it's gonna do very well on this test either. See how it's at the top? Well, of course, the one time. It just loosely will spin. Like that, so, not amazing, but let's find out how well it works. Oh, it already pulled the thing out, see? Did it again. Oh, the weight's going down. Yup, there it goes. All right guys, that one's proof. These, and I will show you right here, the max load, they just unscrew themselves and lose all of their strength. While they do open pretty far, it is not worth it. You can see, look at the difference. It is actually one of the worst performing. These two did the basically the worst, if you exclude that one. 
which was the one that opened up as well. But if you look at the other two, like the simple carabiner just held so much more weight than that. So I don't know why you'd waste more material and have it fail half halfway through. Like this is just insane how much this the simple one held. Moving through what seems to feel like the longest video I've ever recorded on any channel. I don't know what's going on today. This camera stand just does not want to stay up. But now, double-sided carabiner. So I think it might fail earlier than the other one just because now there are two points of weakness. It's gonna wanna just pull from here. But I mean, as long as it can stay in the groove, I think they might hold. So let's find out how strong these are. And then I got another style. So let me show you before they break two different ones. We got the low, this one, simple, simple, versus this one, which then you can maybe clip some other things onto it. I don't know. Maybe they just did to look cool, save weight, plastic. But let's see if it affects the strength. Actually, start with the little ones. Let's see what they got. Clip it in, and put it in. Now, this is the first time I haven't had moved the machine down. Now we just move it up. There we go. This can still move, you can see it's not. I didn't crank it so it's ripping it in half, but I didn't want to have to wait 10 minutes for that machine to do that when I start the test. Let's head over. 50. Oh. Uh oh. Alright. Test two. Oh. I didn't show you guys the last one. It held 60 pounds. I'm, I'm not going to show you that one. It wasn't that much. All right, guys. It's really weird with the glasses on. Last but not least, we have these two carabiners. Hopefully, they will hold them in a little better because they. Oh, this one almost. This one actually curves up a little bit. I'm gonna give these guys better prediction than the ones that just went. I, mean, I saw where they went. Oh, let me get you a number on that last one. Oh, my guys, sorry. 53 pounds. So the other carabiner averages to like 55 pounds of double-sided one so so far the best carabiner you can print is the simplest one these are probably the second simplest or the the double-sided they're very simple very nice to print but let's test these two and if you guys want to see any other video anything that i can fit in this machine it goes up to like i don't know 69 inches it looks like so i can push or pull if it'll fit 18 inches by 69 inches by six inches let me know push pull there's the little this thing that i was showing you let me show you quick the heavy thing that i had to carry around the steel is so you can put your bridge right here push down in the middle see how strong it is and that's what all these bridges are we did this when i was in class so lots of things and this is just the kind of like the instron room like this is a room dedicated to it they had to put a bigger door in like that little like one foot door but all right guys this has been a long enough video let's get this one let me know what you guys want to see and then I might go film some hydro power. So if that's what brought you here, this is what brought you here. If you guys like 3D printed parts, let me know. I really am open to doing anything I can. I'm just trying to expand my horizons. Let me know. Let's rip this thing in half. For the first one, we got a rating of 85 pounds. So let's bring it down here. So you can see it actually beat out the other two, these three. Right here are actually the uh, other two because I tested it twice on the one. But yeah, very similar in these three, or these two. And then we got 85. So this one's already doing better. We'll just click over to next. Wait, turn that. Alright guys, last test. Let's hope it goes well. And let's go for 100 pounds. Oh, did we just miss the 100 pound mark. Close enough. I'm gonna count it, but guys, this is very zoomed in on my face, we're going the wrong way. All right guys, I hope you liked it. Let me know what you guys wanna see more of Steve. I will record what I can, but yeah, sorry I had to make this two parts, but trust me, this had days. I think I spent like, I think I spent like four or five days filming this video, just these are two videos. But yeah, doing this took that amount of time. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Like and subscribe for more, more things to come. I was almost thinking, I saw a video about a twisted tow, tow rope. This machine could, in theory, pull almost any tow rope in half. I just have to figure out how to mount it. Do you guys want to see how strong tow ropes are, twisted tow ropes? It is very, very precise. 
I mean, we did a great job today, but we found out the simplest design is often the best. Sir, so, most of the time. I completely missed that trash can, but I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.